everyone welcome back and hope you're having a great Sunday and a great weekend and I wanted to come back today to do part two of my collective Dollar Tree haul so for those of you who watched uh, part one part one did consist of um, strictly stationary craft and planner related items so today I wanted to kind of share with you guys what I got during the past month in uh, other areas such as beauty household items food and toys so anyway, let's get started. I wanted to share with you all first the items that I picked up from the Fergie Wet n Wild collection. And I know a lot of you have seen these uh, already. And I mainly wanted to pick up lip products. I know they had so much in the new line. And my stores really didn't get that much in. But the ones that I did find, I'm really excited because I totally am into the lip products the most. I know they have so much different um, eyeshadows and um, other palettes that I really did not feel I need. So I only wanted to pick up things that I know I would Will be using and of course that includes lip products because I use that every single day so I'm just gonna go through them quickly uh, these right here are the uh, vicious varnish high shine lip stains so this one is in number a304 giving realness so you see that color right there very nice. And I know there's been a lot of videos where swatches have been done. However, if you would like me to do a separate video to do swatches, please let me know. Here's one uh, that's a really bright, bold uh, color that's kind of in the almost magenta uh, shade. And this is called Street Queen in number A303. This one's a little bit darker plum color. And this one is in A310, the throwing shade. So I thought these colors are really pretty. I went ahead and got those. So those are the glosses. These are the velvet matte lip colors. So I'm really excited about these ones because I've been really into the matte uh, lip colors and I don't believe at least not on the packaging it shows what the color shade is but here's the first one right here kind of almost like a coral like color and this one is more of a nude color and uh, kind of brownish nude color right here and then these two are more like the plum mauve like color here this is oh here's the number a355 so these ones, like I can barely see the numbers. I do apologize. This one is, I think, A358. This one is, uh, I can't see, oh, 352. And then this last one, which is a darker shade. Actually, there's one more color. I do apologize. This one is A356. And then this one, uh, kind of a maybe more red shade is A353. So these were the ones that I picked up and am most excited to use because I really like the lip, um, the matte lip colors. Uh, now, a couple of more lip related items. I also wanted to try this one, which is the Perfect Pout Lip Color. And you guys can see right here, very pretty color right there. And then this one right here, which is a little bit more neutral, nude looking. And then this one. So again, really excited to add to my lip product collection. Here's the third one right here. Aren't those colors so pretty? And then uh, a couple of other non-lip related items that I was excited to find. Now these, I think they only had one of them in the stores that I found. But this one I was excited to find. It's the eyeshadow primer. And it's the Shimmer Take on the Day Eyeshadow Primer in number CA129, A Little Party. So I'm excited to try that. I also wanted to give the concealer um, a try, which is this one right here. They call it Celebrity Concealer. And then the last item that I got in the Fergie Wet n Wild line was the Around the Clock Blush. So again, these were the only items I was interested in uh, trying and found. So I thought that was a great, great find, right? How often do you find these drugstore brand uh, cosmetics at the Dollar Tree? So I was really excited to find those. A couple of other beauty related items. I did find a couple of uh, cool items in the e.l.f. Studio line. This one is the e.l.f. Studio Exact Lash Mascara, which again, I was needing mascara. So this was actually found at a great time. Now I wanted to compare this to the Fergie 
um, blush because as you can see the shade is very similar and this one is the elf blush in the pink passion and I also wanted to try this one which is a much much lighter shade this is in the uh, it's also the elf bl blush and it's in the innocence color so the, as you can see there is a difference in the shades right there I do apologize for the glare but anyway blushes also something I use every day and then in terms of eye products, you guys only picked up two things. This is the e.l.f. Smudge Pot in the um, Cruisin' Chic. And this is kind of like a, almost like a brownish glittery color. I thought this was so pretty. And then this is also a very nice one too. It's kind of almost like a pinkish peach shade. And this is in the Ain't That Sweet. And it's the Long Lasting Eyeshadow and Eyeliner. So I'm going to give those a try. I Again, I don't use the eyeshadows that much. And I also have a lot. But I thought this one, the Smudge Pot, is uh, very different. So I'm going to give those a try. So that was mainly um, the beauty items that I picked up. A couple of other, uh, you know, health and accessories and beauty items um, not really beauty but more fashion related uh, they had a lot of these uh, socks so I only picked up one which is the ice cream cone with the sprinkles how fun is that so Dollar Tree sometimes does have some really cute socks so I uh, just picked one they had a couple but I just went ahead and got that I also got this I needed some more mouthwash and of course if I can why not get the cute one right the one that's in a pink bottle with Hello Kitty on it. So I have used this before and it's good because sometimes the Listerine and other mouthwatches, the taste is just so strong. And, you know, I feel like I'm a little kid when it comes to these dental products. So I like this one because it is uh, the bubble gum flavor so I went ahead and got that and I like how it's in a nice little small uh, bottle it's easy to put on my uh, shower rack and not too heavy so went ahead and got that okay a couple of uh items that I picked up that were more storage and uh, food related. I picked up two of these um, Cooking Concepts veggie storage. I forgot who I saw haul these first, but I know a lot of people have hauled these and I think it's great because it has a drainer inside it and I could put uh, some fruits, especially when I'm eating strawberries or blueberries. I thought this is a great little compact veggie uh, storage container. It's a little bit small, but I guess it is meant for small items, right? But I went ahead and got two. And then going in that same cooking concepts line, I also picked up this ice cube tray because I like how the bottom is like the flexible one and not just the hard trays because a lot of times it's hard to get the ice cubes out. Out, and I feel like I have to hit it out or uh, slam it on the side of the counter but this one because it's you know I can press on it hopefully the cubes will slide out easily for those of you who have hauled um, these items let me know how it's been working for you because I'm curious to uh, know if it's worked well for most people and I also picked up some some gloves, the reusable gloves. The last pair that I used, the one side was ripping apart, so I needed new ones. And then going also into this theme, I got one of these uh, travel dressing containers. And I thought this would be great because I can put some uh, sauce uh, in it when I'm bringing lunch. Especially sometimes I need some soy sauce. And of course, I'm not going to bring a big bottle of soy sauce to work or uh, whether it's a dressing, whatever you may needed for I thought uh, this is really handy and very light too I don't like bringing big bottles that are uh, really heavy uh, a couple of cleaning products I got these uh, scrubbing bubbles toilet cleansing gels and this actually smells like really um, it's a really strong smell so I hope it works well so I got two of those so you know nothing interesting but it's something that I needed and then I wanted to give these a try these are the Tide Pods and there's only three in a pack so I don't really know if it's worth the dollar but because I do use Tide det detergent, um, I use the liquid form ones, I thought this one is a little different. I'm going to give it a try and see how these pods work because I've seen them a while, but just haven't tried them before. So I picked up two of those. And then another household item, I thought this was cute. It's a magnetic clip, and this came in different colors, but of course I got the one uh, in the pink with the googly eyes. And these always come in handy, of course, when uh, I have bags of chips or snacks that I need to just um, 
clip uh, together. I also got these. This is the quilted dishcloths and it's in a two pack. So I went ahead and got it in this purple color. You guys see a color theme <laughs> going on here. And this, uh, it contours to your hand, quilted foam core, cuts grease and food residue. So I thought, you know, material wise, this it seems like it's quite a good quality and it doesn't look like it is a Dollar Tree brand. So I wanted to give this um, a try, 100% guaranteed. <laughs> so uh, satisfaction guaranteed. So hopefully that will work well. Now by the check out registers. I've also found some um, interesting items. These right here are mini hooks and I, I'm assuming it's a, it has an adhesive in the back but uh, I always need to have little hooks um, around the house just to hang you know my keys or uh, lanyards whatever that I may have. I thought this one was you know quite pretty. It looks like the acrylic uh, material and it comes in four different colors. Um, also by the cash wrap I picked up this uh, mini trash can and you know I've hauled these before in different colors but I thought this one was a really pretty lavender color so I love this uh, for those of you who um, have you know uh, by the driver's door there usually is a little compartment where you can slide items in this actually slides in perfectly in my car so I actually use it as a mini garbage can and put like little tissues or uh, candy wrap gum wrap in there so this comes in handy and again it fits right at the side of you the of course, also everyone and their mothers have been hauling these. These are the grab bags and what a deal, two for a dollar in a box. So I went ahead and grabbed two boxes of these and I've heard some great things about it. So I'm going to try it and uh, put it in the shopping carts and then just transfer it right into my uh, trunk, especially in our area, they banned um, all plastic bags, so we always use reusable bags here anyway. So I think this is quite roomy and great for groceries. So I got one for myself and one for my sister. Also, I was excited to find some other fun items in the store. Uh, one of my stores had this. This is the retro handset for mobile phones and devices how fun I think my nieces and nephews will get a kick out of this when I use it and have them try to use it I don't think they've ever seen a telephone like this before with a receiver that's like that and of course it's in the hot pink color one touch answer button so I thought this was a great find I'm going to go ahead and try that and hopefully it works well as well the other fun and exciting items that I got was one of my stores had these emoji pillows and I went in one Saturday morning it was my niece's birthday so I had to pick up some balloons that day and they had a box of these and it was the only store that I saw it at. I never saw it again, never saw it in any other stores, but I thought what a great deal for a dollar because in other retailers I see these for like ten dollars. So of course I had to pick up my favorite emojis which is this one with the heart eyes and then this one with the blowing heart kisses one and the third one that I picked up was this one, which is the winky face and it's in the pink color. So uh, after picking up the Hello Kitty plushes, uh, I was excited to find these at the Dollar Tree. Cannot beat that for a dollar. So I picked up one of each of those. I think my uh, nieces and nephews, when they come, they'll have a lot of fun because it's quite huggable and quite soft. So I thought these were great, great finds there. Um, I also got a couple of fun toy items for my nieces. Now, they had these My Little Pony toy sets. Gosh, I forgot how long ago I hauled this. This was at least over a month ago, but I thought this was fun. It's the Fold and Go Fun set. So I think it's like a little house that opens up. It comes with this like really small, tiny pony and like some furniture items, a little teapot and uh, they call it friendship is magic my little pony and i thought this was great because you can carry it around with you and with that i found a couple of those my little pony figurines so i found these this is the apple munchies one and she is so cute wearing this little blue bonnet and then I got this one. This one is Apple Fritter. I think there was only one of her. Like some of my stores didn't have these at all, but I was excited to find them. 
and I wanted to pick up as many of the pony ones that I can find. So this one, she's wearing like a pink cowgirl hat or cowboy hat. And then I also found this one. This is Peachy Sweet. She's really cute. And uh, I think there was one more, if I can find it. I think there was one more pony one that I found. But if I come across it, I will definitely grab it. But as of now, I cannot find the last My Little Pony. I swear there was one more. Aha, uh -huh, here she is. I found her. So this is the Jonah Goad one. So I knew I had four of them, but these are the only pony ones that I can find. And if I find any more uh, different characters or colors, I will definitely pick it up. But I thought these were fun toy finds uh, for my nieces. And another item that I was excited to find, I actually found this in the Reno store because I didn't see it in any of my stores here but this is the FAMPS set and it says customize your computer to express your mood so I think this would be great because now they like using the computers and their iPad so much and this one is the Mac PC compatible starter kit with software and custom charm included so I thought that was really cute but um, I do apologize for the glare, but it says uh, show your feelings, show your attitudes, show your moods and show your personalities. So I'm going to have my niece try it and see how she likes this. But again, a great find for just a dollar. OK, I also picked up some really cute decor items. These, I guess it's uh, a little too early for Halloween, is it? But um, one of my stores actually had these already and they're really pretty. They're like the different um, pumpkins and the metallic material. So I got that one that's in the gold and then this one is more like a brownish color and then this one's in the orange um, pumpkin regular pumpkin size one aren't these so pretty so I cannot wait until fall and start decorating but I thought those are just so pretty and worth probably way more than a dollar or at least at other stores if you were to buy it they're more than a dollar um also stocked up on some solar buddies so this one of course is the newest one with the solar dancing bear it also comes in the chipmunk and also the tree and Gosh, you guys, they always have new ones of these. I always tell myself I'm not going to pick any more up, but they are just so darn cute. So I went ahead and got those. And then uh, last month I picked up this one, which is uh, the Swinging Bear. And it reminds me of Winnie the Pooh. And that's why I went ahead and got this one. Um, I didn't pick up the other ones. Again, I was trying to be good. And then, of course, they had this one, which is kind of like the aquarium. And this reminds me of uh, Finding Dory. So I went ahead and got those. So those were the new Solar Buddies that I got. Also found this candle holder, which I think is really, really pretty. So you can put the tea light candle in here and then there's the rim. So I thought that was so pretty for just a dollar. I just went ahead and got one of that. And what else did I want to show you? Okay, I definitely want to wrap this haul up, but I want to show you guys a couple more items. I picked up two books over the past month. This one is called Love Maybe by Heather Hepler. And I thought this was a cute little book, but let me go ahead and show you guys uh, the summary of it. Um, and you could uh, feel free to pause it and see if this might be a good read for you but it looked like a fun book and then of course this one is called simple stunning wedding etiquette um not getting married yet but i thought this would be a great book to uh come in handy for the future and i love uh how it has you know different uh ideas it has really nice um pictures so i thought this would be great so all the ins and outs of the special day, right? So I thought this was a great find. I mean, these hardback books are beautiful and just for $1. Okay, uh, I also got this. This is the Sugar Soap Works uh, Oatmeal and Coconut Soap. I have used these soaps before and they are huge. One bar is just huge. So I thought it's a great deal for just a dollar. And then I also got this. This is the Puzzle Bug. 100 pieces puzzle set and I just had to get this you guys because of the panda and so so cute um, I also got this this is the night light and they had different animals But I went ahead and got this one with the duck 
because it is so cute. And then um, I also got this one. This is the LED switch light. I've seen a couple of you haul this. Let me know how it works, you guys. I just picked up one, but if it works well, I might get one for multiple rooms in the house. The last few items I wanted to share with you all are some food items. Uh, I heard some good reviews about these. This is the Baker's Harvest brand, and it's the chicken-flavored crackers, which I assume are like uh, the chicken and the biscuit. This one is the Garden Vegetable crackers, and I thought these would be great for snack. And then, of course, you guys know me. I have to have my peanut butter crackers, so I got the Austin peanut butter crackers. I also got, uh, of course, you guys know I, I love peanuts, peanut butter. This is the Butter Toffee Peanuts. Looks really good. I'm going to open this as soon as I'm done <laughs> with this haul. And then I got the Planters Salted Peanuts. Again, this would be great for work. And then last but not least, I got this. It's the uh, Pecan Sandy's Cookies. And these are so good. I used to eat these all the time, but they are quite fattening. So I think this box would be a great portion to start with. Um, so that is my haul, you guys. I had some stationary items that I picked up yesterday as well, but I'm going to save that for my next haul be uh, because the video is already getting really long and I wanted to show you guys these items that I uh, picked up. I hope all of you enjoyed it. Thank you so, so much for watching and for all the love and I will talk to you guys soon in my next video. Bye. Have a great rest of the weekend.